Rotary Rocket grew out of a conversation that uh, my partner Bevan McKinney and I had about uh, a reusable launch system that could carry what we refer to as two guys in a ham sandwich into orbit. And Kevin Kelly, uh, who is the editor of Wired Magazine, approached me and asked me to write an article about uh, the concept. Walt Anderson read the article, sent me an email, uh, completely out of the blue. I had no idea who he was. We met three times to talk about investment. And in the third meeting, he uh, committed to the investment. It was the easiest uh, investment uh, discussion I've ever had in my life. There was one other person I wanted to have invest in the company. Uh, that was Tom Clancy, the author, a friend of mine. I got introduced to Gary Hudson by a mutual friend, and we kind of hit it off. He's a good guy and a pretty smart guy, and I thought he had a good idea. He had this concept that uh, NASA, well actually NASA pioneered this propeller system where you would have a propeller and at the ends you would have little rockets. And this was based on a landing system. So the propeller on the rocket is just for landing. So when an, uh, a spacecraft re-enters the atmosphere, it usually deploys uh, a parachute. So you cannot control where it lands. The great thing about the, the Roton was it would go into space, it would get back to Earth, the, the propellers would um, uh, deploy and more towards the end they would turn on the little rockets at the tips of the propeller and that would allow them to control wherever they wanted the rocket to land. The thing I like about Gary Hudson's project was it was going to put NASA out of business. And I thought that's worth doing. Take it away from a government agency and give it to real people who do real work for a real profit. And by the way you get some, that's how success happens. But I don't regret losing the money with Gary because he tried to do something that was worth doing. It was, it was hard to see Gary's dream die. Because dreams are something you mourn for when they die. But uh, he, he did his best. And unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. And maybe somebody else will pick up the ball and run with it. Lots of people look at it and say, well, it was a big plastic helicopter. But in fact, it was a vehicle with 93% of its potential propellant weight. Um, only 7% being structure. If we had had a propulsion system uh, on it, there was nothing else that, that wouldn't have made it work. 